Welcome. to another edition of the Part-Time Preppers. May I add a disturbing, very disturbing edition of the Part-Time Preppers. And I'll get to the disturbing part very soon. Maybe not that disturbing, but here we go anyway. Uh, eBay. Uh, been selling things on eBay for many years. I believe 2001 we joined. And there was periods of time where we were really selling a lot of stuff. And there was periods, the last few years, not so much. Uh, but we got into it again, selling a few things here and there. Made some decent money in an old gas sign we found a few months ago. Uh, we'll go to yard sales, estate sales, and uh, we'll pick some things. And usually in the wintertime, more than the summertime. It's hard in the summertime. A lot of things to do. And um, I feel mo more people buy things in the off months anyway because they're not outside having fun so they're on home and the computer shopping let's say but uh, to continue well, what kind of things we normally saw on ebay well you'll see things like that got that at an estate sale it's a bank big boy bank and we'll just put big boy down there uh old corgi cars that one's a nice condition oldsmobile tornado made in great britain um so you, you know don't pay much for it of course uh, little beer ashtray this one's in perfect shape uh, so you'll be selling that one this it just got recently uh let's see if we can see the price now i don't know if that's true or not but it said 39 marked down to 20. i went after the noon hour which the it went half price so ten dollars for old mcdonald tractor trailer from the 80s still in the original packaging there it goes it's taking the big max and the prize down the road uh, so I'll put that up on eBay in some time. You know, I'll try to double my money. And uh, even once in a while, if I find a good price on a lead figurine there, that one's been repainted, so it's not worth as much. There's a nice nurse there. And uh, anyway, so all fine and dandy. Um, then I put this on eBay uh, within the past couple of weeks here. Let's take a good look at it. It is a magazine, a 10-round magazine. Uh, for a Ruger uh, 223 Mini 14, 10 round, plain as day. And um, got this like, oh, a long time ago. I want to say 10, 12 years ago. Uh, I had aspirations of getting a Mini 14. So I tucked this away, never thought much about it at all. And uh, as we were putting a couple things on eBay lately, uh, I thought, well, we, we actually ended up getting a semi automatic rifle a few months ago. In, uh, Maybe we'll do another video on that. But, uh, well, after getting that, I thought, well, I won't be getting a Mini 14 anytime soon, if ever. So let's throw this up on eBay. So I did, and uh, would you pay $5? Would you pay $7? Would you pay $14.99 for this? Well, you won't get a chance on eBay. Now, I, like I said, I've been on eBay a lot of years, but I never sold a lot of gun-related parts or magazines. I think I sold a magazine pouch once that I didn't need, a uh, leather pouch. And uh, like a lot of you people may know this already, this might not be you know, new news to anyone uh, except a few. But it kind of uh, shocked me, and I'll get to the shocking part in about one minute. So just hold on right there. Yes, I do want to learn more about the assault weapon policy. So I clicked on that. Okay, and so that brought me to this page, the overview policy here. So then I clicked on firearm parts and accessories. Okay, so uh, I clicked on this and it has what's allowed. There you go. There's a small list up there. Restricted. If you go on the bottom, I didn't scroll all the way down, but that's not allowed at the very bottom there. But here, back to the restricted, here we go. Seller must follow all state local laws for magazine sales. High capacity magazines that accept more than 10 rounds aren't allowed. Please note that some states may have a lower capacity limit. Now, uh, I'm no expert, but please tell me the states that you cannot have a 10 round magazine. I'm not aware. Uh, listing for magazines must clearly identify the make and model of the item or title or description now i did put a mini 14 10 round magazine in the title so there was, and it's clearly marked on the box too so there was no uh 
you know, misunderstanding about what that magazine was. So it kind of shocked me for a 10 round magazine to uh, have the uh, listing uh, pulled on my item here. So a little disappointed and uh, I don't know how far it'll go. And um, so I just thought I'd give you all a shout out and a warning about this. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of people who do deal in this type of stuff, firearm accessories, already know this. But some of you novice like me may not. So it's just one more thing you can't sell. So I'll have to try to sell that magazine maybe to my local dealer. Or maybe I'll trade him for another magazine. So that's about it from the part-time preppers. So uh, take care. Be good. Till the next time. Bye-bye.